And here you can see the project all wired up. Uh, we've got the Raspberry Pi over here powered up running the Node.js web server, which is connected to the local network over Ethernet. And I've got a serial uh, cable coming out of it going into this here uh, Arduino Leonardo, which has a few pins coming out of it going into a 74HC595 shift, shift register, which is powering that uh, seven segment display you see there. There's also three more uh, shift registers here on this other breadboard that are going into uh, control the array of 24 LEDs, which right now are just cycling through five animations that I've got running on the Arduino sketch. But what I want to show you guys what I, that I think is cool is over here on this iPod Touch, I actually have a simple web app uh, running off the, that's coming from the Node.js web server that I can actually use to control the LED animations. So if I see if I can focus in here and zoom in a bit, um, if I refresh the page, you'll see that a number is generated and then printed to the top of both the screen and the seven-segment display, so the user knows that they're actually uh, connected to the Arduino and can control the LED animations. Um, if I turn off this auto mode, I can actually uh, just pick, you know, one of the five animations, and uh, quite quickly, actually, the LED uh, series will update. So I've got one here that just toggles the even and the odd ones. I can uh, step across each one in the array. Uh, there's one here I can just pulse them all on, uh, on and off. Uh, this next one's kind of cool. It goes out from the center. And I think my favorite one here is this kind of cool little Knight Rider effect. And then if I turn auto mode, <clears throat> excuse me, auto mode back on, it'll just cycle through each of the five animations and um, actually send the signal out from the Arduino when the animation is changed, which updates uh, the web app uh, display. So that's it, guys. I hope you thought the project was cool. Uh, all the code is up on GitHub, and we'd love to know what you think.